because she moved on and got over Jason. I was like, quick, like, do something fuck. cute. We need to get her back. We need her back. I need her back. So that's when I started like doing drive-bys, you know, past her house and ended up befriending her using like a fake identity. Whatever. It's not a long story. <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. Guys, this is my mom, Peggy. Hey, She's Peggy. She's like my muse. And in my memoir, she's like, the main star of like the other two books. So cool. you have so a muse. She no, she's my yes, muse. She's uncut, uncut gems. Yeah. <laughs> she's uncut gems. Yeah. She really is. We have my my mother's actually like the star of this podcast as well, so that makes yeah. sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah you yeah. understand. She, she's like a muse without knowing it. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. She doesn't know. Okay. No, she's just well. She might know, but it's not like we acknowledge it ever. It's just like all of the stories and everything about him is because of her. That's kind of me good too. and bad. Yeah, yeah. Kind of good and bad. Yeah, yeah. But I right. guess I mean, hopefully, that's everybody's mom, right? Right. You hope yeah. that it's like I you am hope, who I am I know, because I hope my mom. I make a big enough impression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so how much would you say in the book is is inspired by your mom? Well, this book. So the, the, my memoirs are like true stories about my mm -hmm. mom. You know, things like telling me at 15 that I needed to get a fake ID if I wanted to keep hanging out with her. Um, you know, go. She, oh, come she's on. just like, like that's how she rolls. She <laughs> that's how she rolls. But yeah. this book, no, this book isn't right. about my mom, but it right. definitely, it deals with like my mommy issues. Got it, <laughs> got it. <laughs> I like how you're just like open about them. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I have mommy issues. <laughs> Who mommy doesn't? Issues. Yes, yes, yes. Again, that's what I was, what I was trying to say politely is, your, this podcast is all about your mommy issues. <laughs> That's yes, what this yes. is. Yes. You know, we all have it. Yes. Uh, this is definitely the first time we've ever had someone's mom in during an interview, right? I think so. I would imagine. I, I, I would say yes. Because and usually I would say that's good because I feel like we we kind of touched on mostly not mom type topics, but it yeah. seems like she's, no, no, my mom sounds like she's down to ride. She so care. She, she's used to it from me. She's yeah. heard it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I was gonna say. I mean, I feel like you. A lot of the stories, the threesome story, and like crazy yes. things like that, are all out there already, yes. right? So you're pretty yes. much like an open book. Yeah, I'm an open book. Yeah. There's nothing that she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> more more open than shut. Yes. Let's say, right? let's say yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Was that um like were you always was that like a conscious decision, I guess? Like were you doing that on purpose or was that just kinda like how how did no, your kind of career heard, on We've heard Jason's side of the story. Yeah. What is, yeah. Oh, so what does Jason say? That my wife's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. No, no. I mean he says she's wonderful woman who's gorgeous and successful I th I and think smart <laughs> and then she's, she's a little great. <laughs> nuts. Uh, no, I felt like, I think, well, I would say this all sort of started when I started tweeting and this was like yeah. early, right. like 2009, 2010. And I was married to this guy who was famous and I wasn't famous and I it resented him for that. I did hated that about him. It drove me crazy. Yeah, that's I fair. Like, that's, 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 that's fucking fair. Right? It was annoying. I was like, maybe... That's, I, 30 years old and I walk into a room and nobody gave a fuck about me. They just yeah, wanted me to sucks. take their cell phone picture with Jason Biggs. Yeah, this that's is, not this fun. This is exactly I'm, why I'm divorced. <laughs> right? To it, like, to it, they would go, yeah. they would go, can you take a picture and yeah. throw the phone in her yeah. hands and every time I watch her, I'd be like, I'm divorcing this guy. Yeah, like, this is irritating. Yeah. So, I was on Twitter and I was annoyed and I was, and I was, you know, an actress at the time and I was you know always playing a guest starring role on some dumb procedural where mm -hmm. I either die I get like run over by a car I don't know I'm like half the measles just something stupid Are you and in a house? I, I was, yeah, exactly. and I was just like filled with rage and I'd go home at night and talk shit but nobody was listening because nobody cared what was happening with me it was mm -hmm. you know I was right. eclipsed in, in like my personal life yeah. by this like larger than life person you know I, I, I didn't have a reason to did not you, be honest. Did you? <laughs> there was yeah, nothing. Right. No, why? No one cares. I just thought it was putting it But then it they started either. caring. And then all of a sudden, people started paying attention. And that was a scary Hell yeah, transition. that's fucking I'm like, terrifying, wait, right? What? Yes. That feeling of like, how many people just saw that? No, or no, totally. That's why I like the podcast, because when we do it, there's only like five people in the room, and I just course, don't yeah. think about where no, this goes. No, you don't goes. think about where it goes. But, you're, but Twitter know, is different, because like the number is right fucking there. You know what I mean? Like, I know, but that number is so abstract. I yeah, remember being yeah, at a yeah. concert with Jason, he's like, look at this stadium. He's like, this is how many people follow you on Twitter. Scary. And that was a crazy moment yeah, for yeah. me. I'll never forget that. Yeah, yeah. right. So I, It's I, wild. And I forget sometimes, and I'm saying things, and then I'm like, oh yeah, my God, so many people. Yeah, you have like cream on in your bathrobe, and you're like yeah. watching The Bachelor, you don't yeah. think it's going anywhere. Right, and it's going somewhere. It's so going somewhere. so you, but okay, you, you, you knew he was famous, right? 
Yes. Because yeah. he's been but, mega famous like forever. Yes. So, so what happened you was, just didn't expect it to be what no, it was. So what happened was I was auditioning for this Kate Hudson movie. Did he tell you the story? No, no. no okay, so I was auditioning for this Kate Hudson movie, Dane Cook movie, and the direct the one of the guys that repped the writer was trying to date my sister Samantha. Okay. And so he said to her, would your sister want to see the audition tapes to see the other girls she's up against? And I'm like, fuck yeah, like I've been waiting forever <laughs> yeah. for my entire career for somebody to offer me access to the audition tapes. Right. So I'm in my fucking studio apartment where I got rid of all the furniture because it was annoying me. I was just like, I'm a, I'm a minimalist. I didn't, I would like, instead of wait, washing wait. a dish, I'd rather throw it away. Yeah. So I'm, That I understand, I'm but you got my, rid of all your furniture? Not, yeah, my friends make fun of me. They're like, when Jason met me he's like can i use the towel <laughs> so oh well i get that i i recently i i've I since was, i've weird. since bought some more towels and uh not bought i, I moved in with someone who had more towels yeah. um but the i had a towel that i ripped in half to so make i need, I needed two you need towels. To, i get it so, i feel you I it was a bigger you. towel it was a beach towel so like it wasn't oh, it, so I mean, it, it started thing. to get like frayed right yeah, so yeah, you were like all right this is already halfway done yeah it yeah. was already ripped from that's this just i just tie yeah. I, I tie my yeah. towel yes how my tie my towel very tight and then and the other goes on your head so you use both <laughs> no it was it was just so someone else could use it it was just like yeah here you go that's fine what a host like a paper towel well, but, so no, wait, I'm but, but, in the but wait, real quick. How much furniture are we talking? Like, what did no, you not dude, have? Dude, I had a, I had a desk, uh -huh. a huge computer that I don't know if they even make them anymore. Right, right, what right. Kind of, what are they even called? Yeah, like, like, giant. Like those things. Like no, a big, that's like I mean, even that. Oh, like a big, like a, like a big PC that has like, like the big. It had a back on it. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like an old Whoa. television from the fifties. Yeah, one of those things you had to have like call friend to move. Yeah, you could just unhook it off the wall. Precisely. So I had that. I had a tiny love seat and like a chair. I mean, it was nothing. So you. So you were like basically like that meme that was like without women guys would live like this and it's like a fold yes. out chair in front of a TV. That was basically that she, was is, she is women. That yeah. was me. You that are men. that yeah. was okay. totally me. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching the audition tapes and I'm just like reveling in it, loving to you know it's because it, what you don't realize first of all like nothing in Hollywood is sort of merit based. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're watching the auditions, you're like, wait, they're not like sprinkling pixie dust everywhere. Right. Nobody's doing anything that crazy. Mm, right. But when 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 this girl you know who I audition with all the time goes behind some closed door, you're like, what am I not getting? Right. So that felt amazing and empowering to watch, and I'm just like loving oh, she's it. Not that good. And then, yeah, I was like, yeah. but see, I I feel like that's kind of a philosophical question asking somebody like, if would you watch the tapes? Because I don't think I would because okay. I think that would drive me crazy. Because then I would amazing. be like, well, what the? Why no. am I not? That, and then that would be more depressing to me. No, I was like, I'm killing it, yeah. and I'm still in the race. <laughs> and then he said, well, while you're at it, watch the two guys we're choosing between. And one is this guy. I think it was Todd Grinnell, and the other guy is this guy Jason Biggs. And I was like, well, fuck Jason Biggs. Like he's famous, and I'm not famous. And why would I ever root for a guy who has so much? Like you have to hire the underdog. <laughs> like, you're there's openly not even rooting a, against him. Yeah, there's not even a question. This is before I even met him. <laughs> right. And then I watched the tapes, and he was amazing. And I always say to him to this day, I said, Jason, your audition for that movie was better than even you were in the movie. Yeah. Like that's how good it, your audition yeah. was. Yeah. So I called Doug back, and I said, I'm I'm wrong. You need to. Hi, it's Jason. You mm -hmm. have to hire him. He's he's amazing. Because at the time, also, I was a theater major. I was so highbrow. I'd never seen American Pie. I'm like, that oh, guy? Oh, please, now he fucked the pie? Please. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever done Brecht? Yeah. So, so I call him back. I say, yeah, you have to hire Jason. And then maybe two weeks later, I went for another round. I met the director. And now I'm like getting really deep into this. And I'm hoping that I'm going to get this film. And Doug said, called my sister and said, you know, would she go on a double date with you and me and Jason? And at first I was like, well, uh, that's, I, I mean, I want the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the it movie, depends. Yeah. This is old school Hollywood, come, eh? <laughs> yeah. Does the movie yeah. come with the yeah. omakase? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are we talking? And Smith was like, listen, just come, just come. It'll be fun. So I agree to go. And then the night before, I'm on a phone call with Jason, and he was stoned and not funny on the call, <laughs> on this three-way call with, like, mm -hmm. Doug and Sam. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, never mind, Sam. Get me out of it. I don't want to go. Wait, a call for, like, business Just to, like, like discuss going, like, going out that out. next okay. night. So I'm, just almost like a, like, let's meet first let's, like, over the phone. like, talk on the phone and plan Ooh, for that's tomorrow. pressure. I don't know yeah. what I'm saying. I, I, I would not funny. be good on that call. I don't, yeah. I think he's like, I'd what's he supposed to be, like, a stand-up? You want to deliver material? just be kind of quick. He was just like Jenny. I was catatonic. I, like, had eaten a gummy, and I was literally not there. <laughs> so I said to Samantha, I don't want to go on the date. And she looked she looked at me and was like, Jenny, it's free sushi. You're coming on the fucking date. <laughs> so I went and we met that night and we had this sort of connection, but I didn't think like, oh, this is the, the love. one. This is yeah. no. 
uh, we just sort of hung out and at, and then you know we ended up in Boston together both doing that movie mm-hmm. so cut to three months later we were madly in love and we were married nine months later I mean it was it was that a still whirlwind. was quick yeah I always say to him I'm like what were we thinking yeah, I didn't even know crazy. you yeah. right, to do that. <laughs> right 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 once you're like I'd only been on life. vacation with you like, yeah. you're, uh, was the bachelor I had only been on <laughs> yeah. vacation you were basically <laughs> a reality TV show you got, we were on honestly, a phone call we, we hung out once and then we did a movie together and then yeah. we got married, <laughs> married? we, we, we were in Boston living on someone else's dime yeah. Yeah. <laughs> doing drugs like yeah. really living there was no not one single aspect of that is your real life that you can count on you know like oh we'll like each other when the world goes back to normal exactly <sighs> none of it none of it so i mean yeah nine now months 14 years later yeah I it's guess, crazy but i guess yeah, that's you know it worked it, i i do think people look for like you know expected the first time you hung out like and we just knew and it's like that's not how it no i know that's not that. how it goes no, I was, you know i was too like, I mean, I i'm not saying on my it, shoulder like, i was too like i had too many thoughts about the fact that this guy was an actor and fate and that all sure. of that stuff I, There's I no didn't way trust him. nobody yeah. goes in unless you hit you unless two people meet at the perfect time where they both don't have like their guard up. Yes, because everybody goes in up. a little guarded. Like yes. I'll see you about this, and then a second date and third date maybe. Nobody's ever like that's it. I have exactly. two people in my life who were like that. Yeah, they were, and you that, believe them when they say it. Like, it it's because I think people also say it, but I'm like, you really thought right away. Well, that- no, it's the friends. It's the friends of both my of two of my. It's the parents of two of my friends. One, they both exact same, and they were. They went on a first date. I guess back in the back in the day, women were going on multiple dates and telling all their suitors about it. Ooh. And was and was like, I can't come out tonight. I have a date for the, like uh. when he asked for a second date. Uh-huh. And both of the, the men were like, no, you Screw don't. that! Just marry me. Stop and, it! And they both said, Well, yes. that is some romantic shit. Where it's <laughs> like, that's oh romantic. damn, okay. That's that's yeah. crazy yeah. though. That's no, crazy. Then getting married after living in Boston. Th- for but a that's also months. some I mean, old school like shit. Siri. No one's doing that ever again. Yeah, that's you know that's if you, if you, if you said that now. You'd be like, no, I'm going to go out with that guy for a free dinner, and then I'll get you tomorrow, and then maybe we'll talk about it. We're not not doing it right now. (laughs) I'm pretty sure, I don't know for a fact, but I think that my mom kicked my dad out of the house and was like, we're fucking done. And he said it was like in the rain, and he went, he like, I think he, I don't know, walked around the block or whatever, and he said he went back and was like, okay, fine, let's get married. (laughs) And the the reason why I believe it's true is because I don't know those details really. I I, I don't know the details of how they got engaged and I think you usually know that about your parents because yeah. I think they don't like to tell the story because <laughs> oh I'm pretty God. sure it my, my dad has this philosophy that you're single until you're married okay. <laughs> which doesn't okay. quite fly right. with a person like my mom so she was no. like yeah he was like running around town on me with every girl I knew and, and, <laughs> and, 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 she, and no, she says she says she's, this is her line she goes he was like running around town on me with every girl that uh, we knew and I've been making him pay for it for the rest of his life <laughs> so, well, yeah, so they're happy they're I great I like that about her yeah, yeah. she is I love she a woman is like that. A scary she's like five foot nothing and she is everybody who's ever met her guys girls family not family are like do not fuck with Kathy she's, I love that yeah well, I always said it's just and I'm like if you cheated on me, why would I divorce you? I would never let you have a free life. <laughs> I would make every day. Right, right, right. <laughs> yep, I will make you pay yeah, forever. You will be, yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't no, know if I ever told tough. you my, my dad didn't show up for my parents' first date because he got arrested. <laughs> he, no. And, oh and was God. in jail for the night. No do do? way. He doesn't tell me. Oh, <laughs> oh that's amazing. It was, it's the same kind of thing where Does it was Polly like, know? they were, I, he's, I, I have an idea. It was, they were supposed to be at a basketball game, a, a local basketball game, high school basketball game. And he just what never. What a great, like, I don't know, like Pleasantville date. And you know, they were not, like, like, meet me at the basketball game and then we'll get burgers and a shake. They were in like <laughs> high school. They might have been early college. Yeah. And, and he just, he never showed. And she was like, what the hell is that all about? And then the next day he was like, I'm sorry. Like I, He says he tried to leave the game to see if she was there yet. And then they wouldn't let him back in the game. And then and they something arrested happened. him. Yeah. And then I'm they like, just I'm like, me I'm like, like you punched a cop. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh you were drunk up on a cop or something. So, yeah. Someone, yeah. someone wouldn't let you in the game and you hit him. Yeah. And then a fight broke out and you got arrested for it. He's oh like, it's not God. just like they wouldn't let me back in the game until they arrested me. Yeah, but that story's so much better. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd rather have those stories that than like, we went on a date and it was just great. It's like, give me I some hosted this show for Lifetime. It didn't air. We it, I, or it was a Lifetime. I don't even remember now. It was a, We shot a series of these shows where basically it was sort of punked, but with engagements. Oh, God. And one you of them. You know why they didn't air that? Because that's <laughs> fucking psychotic. It was psychotic. Because that will lead to well, murders. No, but think about how fun that would be to Holy watch. Holy shit. And one of them was. Meaning just like 
proposal, fake, no, I didn't, ha ha. No, 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 it was like, okay, for instance, let's say two people go into a jewelry store and then the guy gets accused of stealing. The police show up. Every Now she has to fill out a report. They're they're telling her he's going away. They're, she's never going to see him again. And then all of a sudden he's like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe maybe I did take something and then he yeah. just gets on his knee right, and like, right. the ring. You but it's a real proposal? A real fucking proposal. See, all right, right. I, I even in the way that. that you did, like, you love the dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. I love, like, I love a caper. It, I'm yeah. down. I'm there down is, I've seen one. This one's fucked. This one is. I've seen like a viral one. This is a couple of years ago where the woman thought she was showing up to like identify her boyfriend's body. Oh like, my! And like, oh my God. Oh my God. it was. So it was sweet. like. It was like a mangled car. It was like. It was like a car. Like, so it wasn't. She wasn't in the morgue or anything like that. It was like, get down here. Something happened to Tom's car, and like, <gasps> it's his kind of car. Fucking flipped over. There's like blood, fake blood oh strewn the street. Oh my god! And she's like shaking, and then they get her to the other side of the car, I think, or maybe he, maybe, no, maybe he was unconscious on the floor, oh my and then he this gets is up crazy. and is like, "Will you marry me?" And she's like, "I, I forget what her in, reaction in, was." Unless you I want to like say a, she hit him. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say unless you're like a prank couple that you yes. do like, you can't do that to somebody. No, you know evil. why I hate all those things? Because when you pull a prank, people shit might happen that you can't just take back you know right. what I mean like yes. like in that in that scenario she might be like I always knew you were a fucking thief like, <laughs> yeah. I always knew you were a liar yeah. that's why I like, fucked your brother because yeah. I knew right. yeah. and then, I knew you'd be going to jail one day yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Or, or you know like hey uh, or you know I'm, I don't want to identify his body like I'm happy he's gone right. yeah right, oh, right. Whoa. Well, never mind I guess I'll just fuck myself over here yes. you never I, I don't play you with that you never know yeah that's, that's too dangerous <laughs> we, we just did a scenario a second ago on our show uh this this guy dumped his girlfriend okay because when she eats spaghetti uh -huh. she's a like a loud slurper okay. to the point they've gone out multiple times he said they, i think they lived together they weren't together that long but they do live together slurping so much that other tables would like look and be like oh my god and okay. he said he, he said he was mortified they talked about it and he would he told her like i will not eat out in public with you anymore if you're eating spaghetti. Okay. So she said, let's go get Italian tonight. And he said, what are you going to get? She said, yeah. don't worry, I'll get the lasagna. Okay. They go to the date. They go out to the restaurant. She orders the spaghetti. And so he got up and left. Said he sat in the car and, and listened to a podcast because he was like, I'm not subjecting myself to this again. Stop uh, it. He, it he, the story said, like, after some time, she came out. So I'm thinking that she ate the spaghetti. <laughs> I mean, for and then, sure. And then, like, confronted him. And basically, she was like, you're, you're an asshole. And he's like, did I go too far? Where, where, what would you say in that scenario? Who do, you, who do you side with? Oh, my God. I mean, hmm. I think that, I think that I would, God, that's a tricky one. I don't know. <laughs> I think she should have eaten the spaghetti for sure. <laughs> Definitely don't. She should have ordered spaghetti. it. Or we would never want after ordering it. Oh well, yeah, no. Like, she like, should she, have. She shouldn't have ordered it. She that was okay, fucked right. up. <laughs> that was fucked up to order it. It's almost like she wanted to get broken up with. You know how like sometimes you're She's in a relationship, scheming, you're yeah. like, I don't want to be the bad guy here. It's yeah. sort of the <laughs> oh, best, you know, sometimes. The yeah. Best, How the about best all out, of them? Yeah. The best out. Yeah. Then order the fucking speedy. Right. Genius. She might. Yeah. If she's sabotaging, that's all good. But I then, mean, but then, then she went home and was like, "You're, you know, you, you're, you're rude to me. me." And like, she went in the other room and talked yes. loudly about him so that she could hear her. And like, it didn't seem like, "Yes, I got my way." I yes. think I don't care. I, it's crazy to it's do it over spaghetti. But yes. if he's like. Don't do this, and you're yes. like, okay, I won't, and then you fucking do it. But Jason says that to me all the time. He's like, don't open the, ki don't leave the kitchen, you know, don't mm -hmm. leave the cupboards open, don't leave okay, the refrigerator but that's like open, you forget. don't contact my ex girlfriend. <laughs> and like, I just keep doing it. I can't stop. So I don't know. Okay. I just, maybe I am the girl with the spaghetti. Dude, yeah, the you contact <laughs> the ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, don't I, hike I feel like Canyon he... with my ex girlfriend. Yeah, he's, he's... Like, you know, it's just not. I don't know how to stop. I so feel like I you are a wild one in that department. Oh my god, like the craziest, right? I have no idea. No. No, no I mean like I got an idea. The iceberg. <laughs> I I have like I have an idea. I I, I have an idea. Uh, I think Jason again has told us probably exactly that. Like yes. <laughs> she got back to my ex girlfriends. Why? Why? Like like like? And I guess I, I'm more of an out of session? sight, out of mind guy. Like yes. I'd rather just not know. I would well, rather not know your you know exes what? even exist. Because she watched right. the audition tapes. 
She's we a girl who watches the audition. <laughs> I'm, I'm the girl she wants to know yeah, everything. I want to know. I want to know I'd rather be like, I'm just going to do my best and I hope I get the part and that's it. And I won't talk to your ex because I don't even pretend that you've no, ever had okay, sex with so anyone else before. Yeah. But some ex. people have to know. Here's my thing with the ex. And guys, like, just for the record, and I want to make it clear to everyone listening, I have written me- multiple amends letters to the ex and I told her I would mm-hmm. never talk about her or write about her again. So what I'm about to tell you, I would like it to stay between us. Okay. That's sure. Okay, okay good. <laughs> yeah. So my original obsession with Jason's ex came from the fact that when Jason had broken up with this girl about six months before he met me, and then all of a sudden we were in this relationship and she was still wanted him back. So she was writing on my IMDb page. She was making like, oh, all right. Like, oh, 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 okay. She's crazy. No, but the, I, I loved it because I was like, oh my God, oh. <laughs> I'm dating this guy that everybody wants a piece of. They all care about him and not me. But now I have a fan. I have my first fan. She <laughs> loves me. She wants to know everything about me. She's obsessed. She's looking, yeah. she's Googling images of me. Like I need to curate my online life to be perfect for her. And I want her love and attention. And yeah. I, I needed her to love me. And when, Jason and I were together long enough, maybe even married. It was, of course, she moved on and got over Jason. I was like, quick, like, do something fuck. cute. We need to get her back. We need her back. I need her back. So that's when I started like doing drive-bys you know, past her house and ended up befriending her using like a fake identity. Whatever. It's a long story. It's a long story we don't need to get into today. Yo, uh, you and I did it before. Yo, I was going to say. The, the guys, have you been talking to <laughs> Maybe uh, she's like the ringleader of all. Like, she's, not the head, she's the head of the snake. No, You're I'm the one giving out all the, 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 all the tips. I'm the master of this, yes. Holy but no, honestly, shit, man. I'll I'll just tell you this like now I have made amends I don't like I do anything I don't bother her I don't write about her anymore we've had this fi- this moment in like mm-hmm. um, Nantucket where like you know I mean since she is my Moby Dick it needed to be yeah. Nantucket uh-huh. and it just happened of course. To fall, you know hap- it worked out that way thank God yeah. um, and no like now I am totally I leave her alone completely I- I'm over it I've that's moved on good. that's but good but I do but it's, it's crazy I that like it was her. once it was once she was out like it was never because like you were I jealous her or anything. I for my it's comedy. A, it's yeah. not yeah. fair of me. I did. I did. I. I, I do used the same her. thing. I do that. I. I. I use people we in my life for I comedy. I used her, yeah. and it did like create mm. this whole sort of like shtick that I had online, and it's probably the one of the reasons I got my first book deal. And it's not. Yeah. Like, it wasn't kind of me in no. retrospect. I wasn't trying to be mean. Right. But like. Yeah, it just happened that way. But I do <laughs> like her a lot. I. I, I it is interesting. I. I don't think <laughs> I knew that up. she. She opened the door. But she, she was doing. Door. She, I'm Jason, I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to do all this if she wasn't. That's so true. Yeah, man. like she started with once, the IMDb. Once that shit goes on, it's like all's fair in love, war, and the internet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but guys, since my mom is here, I'll just quickly tell you there was one day where you know I was driving past her apartment. My mom was in the car. It was like part of Jenny's Legends of Hollywood tour, where my mom's like in the car and I just take her past different places. Mm-hmm. You know that Jason's ex girlfriend had been. <laughs> <laughs> no, just her apartment. Just her apartment. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> and we and I'm talking about her on the phone to Jason. We're sitting in a nail salon, about to get pedicures, and she walks in, and she sits down next to this older woman sitting across from us who had heard everything I was saying, and that was her mom. So <gasps> me and my mom getting pedicures across from her and her mom. The mom's not putting it together. No, the mom. She I mean, knew everything. Instantly, I was like, yeah. I just saw oh, blah blah God. blah. No, it was every. It was awful. Get that is insane. Out. It was a that's blessing. That's a scene out of a movie. I mean, it was a blessing of a short story. Yeah, yeah. Up, like, I mean, that's know. see, that's the sick part of what we all do is when I chase the story. when horrible, bad, embarrassing stuff happens. Mm-hmm. It used to be like a little piece of me would be like, yes. Now it's probably like the majority. Yeah. It's right, probably right. like 70, like, 30. Oh, like, this is going to be a good story. It's so embarrassing, yeah. but it's also That's amazing material. Right. Yes. Was she slow rolling it? Like she was just like, I'm just going to let this girl hang herself and keep oh, talking? Yeah. Like she didn't she even think pissed. to bring it. Yeah. She was pissed. Yeah. It was a standoff. <laughs> yeah, that's like, they did you guys have a tag team match? No, they kept their sunglasses on the whole time. They didn't want eye contact. Oh, it was pussies. A whole what a bunch of yeah. pussies. No, you guys should have brought it. Honestly, guys, we're the bad guys here. Like not my mom, but me. I fucked up. I really but she's did. bad guy by association. My mom is a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. she's in the, she's you know the bad guy my crew. Mom made me, so let's <laughs> yeah. just like pin it on my mom. Yeah, <laughs> she's got some stories. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, you would I'm not. Sure like she's doing that, the same version of that back in the day. Another <laughs> question we just had on, on the show we were doing was like, what are the best social skills or, or oh, yes. general life skills? that your mother or father have ever taught you. Like the example that was given was shotgunning a beer. Um, mm-hmm. the, dad, like, the dad said, don't ever be the kid who does dumb shit for money. Like, oh, like something that. like that, yeah. Like, like, my what, mom was the one who was like, never wait in a line. Like never fucking wait in a line. 
We, I, she goes, I don't one. do lines. That's like that was my, my mom. girl. How about my mom's? Never. My mom's uh, line was, I was trying to meet uh, Santa Claus when I was a kid. And my mom said, John Henry, I wouldn't stand in line to meet Jesus. Yeah. And, oh, my God. And then, <laughs> and then, and then we there, never. There's not a, a <laughs> yes. person or thing alive that yeah. I would wait in a line for. Right. No it's very food, annoying. No person, no event, no movie, not like. But there are I'm talking like a four-person line. They don't oh. even know why. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes, like sample sales. Don't like like addicted to lines. Dude, yeah. sam- we used to live yeah. by, not live by, we used to work yeah. by a sample store, sample sale. Yeah, they sample just get in the line place. just to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like there must be something good yes, over there. Exactly. I'm like, I'm sure there is, but it's not as good as this. No, no. Oh, a line. Yes. <laughs> that is terrible. No lines is a good one. Yeah, I like we that one. We don't do lines in this house. No. What's one that you would pass on? Oh my God. I say to my kids, and it's terrible because it backfires on me, but I don't. I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah. It's like when yeah, we know. Tells you no career wise or whatever, you know, whether it's in sports or school or whatever, it's like that's just like the opening act. Mm-hmm. No is just the beginning of the negotiation. Right. And I always want my kids to sort of have that ch- tenacity and resilience to just right. like fucking. Then you start stalking. Yeah, then, yeah. Then, you, then you start. Yeah, then you find yeah. a window. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The front door is locked. Yeah, you, you, you go find through the, the window. Windows. Metaphorically, right? No, no, no. no we're talking yes. literally. Yes. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like, I mean, because of all this, I feel like there's like this, this um, like Jenny's crazy or like Jenny's wild. Not like crazy, yes. like, but like wild and she's open and blah, blah, yeah. blah. But I almost feel like it's more that other people are closed off. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right. you got some wild stories, like, but like for the most part, I know everybody you're just, has this shit. I'm yeah, just talking right, about it. Right. It's just it's just like it's more like like Jenny has like a personality and she likes to have conversations. You know what well, I mean? I feel like because everyone else. I was talking about it the other day with um we had, we did another interview and there was like a blatant a like blatant point of conversation topic that we should have talked about and we yes. couldn't because it was just like mm, yes. we can't do that. Right. And it's like fucking why not? Yeah. I don't care how big you are. Like yes. Can't, and I'm not saying we would like talk shit about you but let's just talk about it we yes. can laugh about it and something went wrong and whatever right but nobody you either have like literally a publicist say like you're not allowed to talk about that yes or it's like if we could just touch that and move on it's like why right yeah whereas yeah, yeah. i'm like well, sure. let's just talk about whatever people want to talk about you know 100%. it's weird that this is the rarity no it is it's you know? so strange Fuck that. i hate that well, when i moved to new york people were like oh you're clearly you're from california because they i think here as well it's it's different yeah people yeah. aren't as open i hate it's just if you can't talk about certain topics, it's like what's, what's no. the point of doing all this? Because like, you guys are like, all doing it anyway. Right, you're right, you right. You're just not being anyway. real about it. Yeah. It's weird. Here, here we're more repressed, but we're also, I feel like when we talk, we're more real. Mm-hmm. If that makes For sense. Sure. But then California is more less repressed. It, I yeah. feel they like. talk more, but they don't don't say more. Yeah. And they don't like, always mean everything. Right, 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 right. That's really it. Like, it, we might not say anything, but when we do, we mean it, whereas you guys are talking and yes. it never. Are you from California, like, originally? From Arizona, Arizona. and San Diego. Arizona's crazy. They don't give yeah. a fuck out there. Arizona's <laughs> weird. They don't give a no, shit, man. It's, like, so s- embarrassing. I mean, literally, <laughs> I didn't even have Martin Luther King Day when I was a child. I mean, it's mortifying there. What the fuck off? No, really? they're gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that is gnarly. I knew, I knew they didn't that have is any, like, uh, savings. Right. <laughs> they're yeah. like, MLK? Yeah, no. I think he gets a whole day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. No, no, they, don't get, they didn't bad. give us anything. It was so weird. The, 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 so weird. the daylight savings thing is a good example of it, but it's kind of funny because it's almost like most people prefer to not fuck with the clocks yes and and then with with coronavirus they just didn't do a fucking thing right but not no ml no, I think the, the Super Bowl didn't. I remember the Super Bowl didn't come one year because of that. It was a whole thing. Really? Yes. I don't remember that at all. Yes. That's I'm loose. older than you Makes guys. Sense. Yeah. Makes sense, though. <laughs> that is that fucking is. funny. So, so you subscribe to Lucille Bluth's idea that she'd rather be dead in California than alive in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That's a great <laughs> well, Lucille Bluth, the one that kills me is when she's talking about the pain pills and she's like, the sleep. I didn't thought. I didn't think it was a sleeping eye, you know, warning. I thought it was a winking Wink, eye suggestion. One of my favorite. <laughs> winking eye. <laughs> <laughs> or or the, the when she comes down in the morning for, she goes, I'll do a dirty martini. And he goes, Mom, it's breakfast and a piece of toast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. What is, what, uh, when they say... Um, we gotta get rid of like the C word. She's like, I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, we're talking, talking about, about the, the boat, boat, the C word. <laughs> oh my god, that's so. I'll, good. I'll tell you one thing. I miss a lot. That's what we just did. 
People don't do that anymore. They share memes, you kids. Yeah, you share memes. <laughs> Sit around and say funny quotes from quote funny movies. movies. And shows. People yeah. love that. That shit's yeah, fun. Quote movies. That's a it's blast. True. Don't tell your own jokes. Just use the jokes yeah. from TV shows. It's so true. <laughs> Butcher no, is, professional comedians' <laughs> jokes with your friends. <laughs> it's some of the most fun you'll ever have in your life. Dude, we would do that. We, like when I was in high school and college, like we just get drunk in a basement and just say oh, fucking. Oh, when we just yell Will Ferrell movies. When Will Ferrell was yeah. having That's that so run, funny. I don't think guys ever had an original thought <laughs> i think it was just i'll say Where something from old school grow up? i was new york he was boston okay okay yeah <laughs> but but the, it was the just... land of love they say yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and so now all right so you start getting your twitter followers you're writing books you're in more roles like was there was there um Moments where it was like, I'm catching up to you, Jason. Like, uh, yeah, look, I'm famous now too, bitch. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think he he always says, it's like he he's always like, I didn't do anything to you. Why am I in trouble for being famous? <laughs> like it's not. I wasn't it is trying. The most unfair. I thing wasn't in the world. trying to keep you down. Right. right. He's like, why are you trying to compete with me? Yeah. He's like, and he always tells our couple therapist, I'm never trying to compete with her. She's right. just always trying to like usurp me in some weird way. <laughs> it's creepy. But uh, no, I think when I started yo, writing the yo, books, he I, loves you. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys. He loves the abuse, yeah. but it was a, it was like a yeah. Who's crazier, him or her? I know, truly, it was so empowering. Yeah. It was so empowering. The writing changed my life. Mm -hmm. It was everything, and mm -hmm. um, so I started writing for Playboy online. I, I was I sent in a letter saying that you know I had a great short story for them, and then it ended up crashing their site. And wow. then the guy who was running Jimmy, who I think he was running Playboy at the time, called me and said, "Do you want to do a standing column?" And so after a year, I had enough short stories that I thought I should try to maybe I'll maybe Put I'll try to together. write a book yeah. because I was friends with Were Chelsea you? Handler and so Chelsea I'd watched her you know break through so many glass ceilings and mm. do so much so many amazing things with her life that I thought maybe I could write yeah a memoir and so that's kind of how it started and then the first book came out and it did well and at that moment I was like I'm never fucking acting for somebody else again yeah I'll act in like my own shit but I never want to ever be stuck in a trailer mm -hmm. wondering what time I'm going home right like right, servicing right, right. somebody else's like you know sure. script yeah never. right you're in control so, now yeah. yeah it changed my life when you write the memoir is it you punching things up or you just have enough stories that are like you told them legit how they happened and oh no because oh sometimes God, no. i wonder i'm like is For this sure. really how, like all of this stuff happened oh, the no, way no. that it i definitely and i say in the beginning i think the that book i said you know m some of these characters are composites some of the yeah, names yeah, and okay. dates okay got it, got it, got it. some of the like you know there are definitely exaggerations this sure. is how i remember it to the best of You're all knowledge. i know for yeah. sure is that i was like super like hot and skinny in all of these stories <laughs> 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 but, like, you know yeah. and then in the second one i think i said most of the names have been changed except my mom's her name's peggy <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that is cool <laughs> that is uh a, a girl who uh got a job here i think within the last year um, there was like four girls that all got a job and we were doing a show where it was us and, and just them and yeah. I asked them all like what changed the most in, in their life since getting the job and she was like um, just not feeling like uh, like I'm just a suck on like the relationship you know what I mean like uh -huh. I actually oh, provide now yes. and, and I'm you know whatever whatever you relationship dynamic you have yes. but I feel like that's gotta be a cool feeling where all of a sudden well, the you're like I do my own I never shit now. felt bad like spending his money fuck that yeah <laughs> I feel like I'm the more mm -hmm. level headed one where I'm like no you're not you're not getting that and he's like well it's my money I'm like no you're not it's money. a bad decision yeah. for you <laughs> so no I don't know I didn't care in that regard it was more just like yeah the acknowledgement, recognition, you know, going somewhere and not being Jason Biggs and guest. That yeah, always yeah, yeah, me. right, right. You were right. Jason Siegel on the red carpet from forgetting oh, Sarah Marshall. Oh, <laughs> truly, that was always me, yes, yeah. yes. I feel like it's, you or know, my dad would Jenny be like, plus this is, one now. This is my daughter Jenny and the actor Jason Biggs. <laughs> that would also be a little awkward. And totally not his fault, but he would get the brunt of that every time. Oh, yeah, I'm like, of I course. fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It, no. is, it is crazy that you talked about it and, like, that, that fans – I get that a fan, you know, they want a picture and they're kind of panicking because they like you, but it is – They lose their head, it, though. It is, it is crazy disrespectful to, like, it's, hand it to your significant other oh, or something like that. And you're, oh, you're like, like, no, dude, uh, no, we'll I mean, do it, like – let's do a selfie here. Let's not do even, something yeah, like yeah. – Not even, like – that like the way you know if you say like dude you mind taking a picture it was literally like while looking at me just like here's, yeah. the, here's yeah. the phone and like, oh yes. my god yes. yes i remember there was one time with like because this this was weird too because we became like famous but only in like a small pocket uh -huh. but the people who knew barstool like really yes. you know and so that was like a big burden on our relationship and one night we're like drunk on the upper east side all the time we're like stumbling home in a in a in a fight because 
that happened at the bar with the uh -huh. camera, right? Yep. And I was like, I was thinking I was arguing like, it's not, that doesn't happen that often. It's not that big of a deal. And this dude like a block away was like, yo, bar no. And I was Stop like, it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, no, sh not now. Oh <laughs> it was just like oh, the, that's worst, hilarious. the worst. But yeah, that kind of stuff is in a relationship is, is not easy for but either party to deal sometimes with. Sometimes it's, it's like, like, I think good in a fight where you're fighting and someone's like, oh, I love your work. And you're like, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of just like really digs the knife in deeper. <laughs> so how many books are we gonna write? I mean, we got we got City yeah. of Likes now. So I, I mean, City are we just gonna City like, which has already been optioned, right? right? Yeah, City of which Likes. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking... write it for Sony. Uh, Diablo Sick. Cody is supervising. Sick. Uh, so I'm psyched. This is my best book, you guys. This is was a labor of love. I bled for this. Now is this book. is this not this is a novel? Mm, but is novel. there is there any base in reality yes, on this? Because I knew sure. there was. It's she moves from California to New York. Yes. And she's a copywriter. Yes. And she yeah. falls in love. Not falls in love, but she meets a, a mommy influencer. Yeah, but right? there definitely is like a sort of like uh, lesbian like. Oh. Undertones Ooh. to it, yeah. There's sort of a love triangle. The and lesbian undertones. That, that's what the reply to the base in reality is. Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> but but it it is about like you know when you fall like under the spell of a narcissist and these friendships, these female friendships, we sort of date each other. Yeah. And this particular relationship gets a little toxic. And uh, yeah, how know, about this in Daphne's world where they're hobnobbing at exclusive Power Mama supper clubs? Yeah. I want to go to a Power Mama <laughs> supper club. You guys. How do I, I get into there? As, if I wrote this as a memoir, to have to leave town. <laughs> <laughs> that way. There are yes. There's definitely had to be called fiction. <laughs> yes. So you put this out. How long? Well, at least we're keeping that secret. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. Again, nobody's listening. It's nobody's, fine. nobody's listening, guys. It's how, nowhere. How quickly did they get options? Uh, well, it, it must got be pretty optioned. Fast, right? Oh my I mean, god, it got like, optioned right away. Yeah. But I had done That's my first so show. Sick. Well, my first book, I wrote. For Sony, for Sony for ABC. So this was Sony, and Sony assumed they're like, okay, well, it's probably going to go to our comedy department. But then they read it, they're like, this is this should go to the drama team. Um, so it's going to be a one hour. Shit. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That that's sick. unbelievable. Yeah. This is going to be fun. your first. That's going to be your drama, right? Like, right. It's going to be your first drama, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be. Yes. I feel like the. I, I think I've listened to Rob McElhinney talk about it, maybe from Always Sunny, uh -huh. where he talks about like. What's the hardest to write? Because uh -huh. he's written, yes. he's been a showrunner on a couple of things. Yes, and and he says that he says he says a comedy. He's like comedy yeah. is by far the hardest because oh, drama. I he's like, like he's like that. I can. He's like I know what it takes to make everyone sad and scared and uh -huh. nervous. I don't know what it takes to make everyone everybody laugh. laugh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And I was like, that actually varies a lot of so sense. much. You yes. know, yes. like what one person right. finds funny, some person might think is like the worst, right? Mm -hmm. But if someone's mom dies in the scene, everyone's feeling That's it. That's true, you know? yeah. that's so true. So it's a lot, you know, there's a lot more people like to try to But I feel like if you find it funny and you're laughing, you know, There'll be a, there'll right. be some people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's it's enough people. It's working enough. It's right. working enough. Right. Jason's like, stop laughing at your own stuff when he, he's reading it back to me. I'm like, that was so good. <laughs> 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 like, <"Stop."> <laughs> how uh, how can we get uh, a couple roles in in a book or? Oh, well, I'll books have you movies? guys in. You guys will be yeah. in it. For we'll, sure. we'll audition. We'll audition. Uh, as long as you see. I don't want to. I don't want to see those. I'll give you the tapes. I don't even want to watch them. We'll audition if you need like two dumb white guys. Amazing. Which is always a role for that. You need a douchebag. You need a moron. Yes. You need something weird. The white guys are that guy. I've been, okay. I've been yes. working at it, it. forever. Yeah, professional. It. Yeah. <laughs> For 37 years. That's me. Me We're method actors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the book is City of Likes. You can also catch it with Sony because it's already out there. Um, I mean, I feel like you're already successful but on the verge of so much more that's so, so sweet Thank just you. keep us in mind you know <laughs> Thank you. when you're at I power will. mama supper I clubs <laughs> yeah. i will all right thanks so much for coming thanks in. for having me guys <laughs> thank you Jen. make sure you subscribe to kfc radio on youtube to get all the video content uh subscribe comment like and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops i want to say something but the video has to be faster that's it